I got to the cycle path um, and obviously I was attacked and the next thing I remember is waking up in hospital um, and literally I'd had my face smashed in from the eyes down. Um, I'd got knife wounds on my face, several on my face, uh, down onto my neck, a stab wound in my shoulder um, and a defensive knife wound uh, on my right forearm. This week Julie Cooper returned to the scene of her nightmare. It was along this path in Europa Way, Norwich, where she was brutally assaulted and robbed on August the 15th, 2000. The mother of two had been walking back to work when she was attacked and her bag was stolen. She was left with horrific stab wounds to her face and neck. Her teeth were knocked out and her jaw was broken. Today this path is clear, but 13 years ago it would have been overgrown and difficult to see. The attack took place at lunchtime, between 1.05 and 1.13 p.m. Despite the area being busy, Julie's attacker has never been brought to justice. Trying to come to grips with being told what had happened to me um, was very difficult. Uh, and I remember my three-year-old daughter being brought in um, to see me and, and just the horrified look on her face when I was in the hospital bed. And she literally wouldn't come near me. And, and that was one of the hardest things to deal with. Um, and they'd, they'd covered the mirrors up in my hospital room um, and the, the first time I was able to get out of bed and go to the bathroom um, that was the first time I actually saw what I looked like and I, and I remember um, getting up to, to go out and catching sight of myself in the mirror and my face was swollen, uh, black, yellow, teeth missing um, and, and almost fell over in, in shock actually at what had been done to me. Despite years of investigation and forensic reviews, the attacker has never been caught. But police are now appealing for fresh information, as part of a campaign with the Eastern Daily Press to crack Norfolk's cold cases. A replica image of the bag stolen from Julie has been released, as detectives search for a breakthrough. When you look at the level of violence used to affect what was basically a robbery, it's just incredible. And, um, you know, Julie, I'm sure, would love closure, as, we, as would we. And I'm sure that anybody that has been told about this attack, you know, if the offender mentioned it, you'd remember this sort of conversation, you remember this level of violence. This is not the first time that Julie has posed for pictures. She's moved on from the attack which changed her life and is now a successful finance director. But she has not forgotten. She will continue to tell her story until the person responsible is brought to justice. Imagine if it was your mother that, that this had happened to, you know, or, um, you know, if you, you had young children and this had happened to you. Just, you know, think about how, how it would make you feel and think about the effects on, on your family and the effects that it's had on my family, um, you know, and just come forward and say something.